Welcome back guys, how you all doing? My name is Marks, this is Markscraft, and today we're upgrading, we're going to 116. See you all there. <laughs> So, I know that pretty much everyone's already on 116, so at this point it's kind of old-ish. Because um, everyone's done it, everyone's been, they've got the netherite, they've done the bastions and everything. Um, but not me. I stayed on 115 for mod reasons that I pretty much wasn't using. The only one that really made any difference was the uh, mouse tweaks. I mean, I used to be able to just drag over and it'd get me everything. So that's really the only thing I'm losing because I slept so much. The um, Forgemaster mod that I was using didn't really benefit me other than if I decided to build at night. So yeah, here we are in in the 116 nether. Now, as you can see, I have been here already. Um, also based off how dead my pick is, I should probably wear gold. That might be a good idea. And yeah, pretty much all I've done so far is uh, get this portal and that portal. So they're linked and then there is another one Oh god, so squelchy. Oh man. Super squelchy. Yeah, there is another one over this way. Oh, hi, Mr. Cast. Ow. <laughs> that could have ended badly. Um, where is it now? It's over here. Oh, another one. I guess there's a portal. Just there. So that goes to. I need to stop face planting things. And um, that one goes to my farms and things. So, like my industrial district. Uh, that's over there. Aside from that, I've not linked any of my portals up. So, I still need to go to the end. Um, to the Guardian bit. It's not really a farm yet. In fact, it's not a farm at all yet to the Guardian Temple and the Mesa which is over that way somewhere quite a far way away. I also I also need to find a uh, nether fortress because the one I did have was pretty much just over over the other side of those trees there. Uh, it's no longer there, so I'm going to have to uh, do some digging and find that thing. Um, but yeah, pretty much all. A very strange place for one block, and um, pretty much all I've done, as you can see, is um, dig. I've done quite a bit of digging, uh, so. And the easiest way to to demonstrate that, I mean, it's not all there, um, would be to show you the time lapse it did. So it covers some of what I did. It's kind of hard to uh, to do it when all you've got above you is lava lakes, uh, because this is pretty much just under a giant lava lake. Basically, I've just gone along and done these these pockets were like, kind of like the most effective way. I uh, did some strip mining and then just some um, beacon mining style stuff. I forgot like particles. Maybe it's the bio. Like weird blue particles. Oh, look, another. Um, yeah, I will show you that time lapse. And um, while I do that, I am going to make my way back to the overworld. And 
will upgrade with what little netherite I've got. It should be enough to do. Oh man, that looked really weird because it was just flat. And um, it should be enough to do one set of tools full. Um, so I'm going to leave the, the sword off. And this is a second set because I kind of killed my first self. So I'll upgrade my uh, main set that I use. And uh, yeah, then we'll, we'll come back. So I'll see you guys after this time lapse. I hope you enjoyed that little time like that guys I had just enough for one set so we've got a uh, pickaxe my axe shovel and to be honest probably the most important being the hoe and that is for leaves more than anything hence its name leafy dust um now in this particular episode is probably it's probably going to be a bit shorter than they have been purely for the fact that um a lot of my time this week has gone to transferring my texture pack over to 116 uh, and it has eaten a lot of time because there's overly things i've had to do and mess around with and um still a few bits and bobs i need to do with it as well as messing around with Optifine, trying to get it to work with what I had already, which didn't happen. But anyway, um, what we're actually going to do as well today is I want to start work on, on the wall going around here. So I have a design in mind. I've got my stuff. Um, ready over here uh, so there's some bobs all in these and we're going to jump into another time lapse and get started on the wall so i'll see you guys again very shortly back in a few <laughs>
right, so that didn't go to plan. And um, as you can see, I took the roof down because roofs, they, they hate me. They really do hate me. The design I did have and looked okay in in the creative um world I built it in. Then when I put it in here next to what's already here, it looked garbage. And it was completely garbageo. Um so I ripped it down. It just all gone. I probably need to go back and have a play around with that some more in the creative world just to uh, to get a better idea for it and get something that works with not only traveling up terrain uh, so stepping up some terrain but that also works with coming in on diagonals so they're only going to be like one step diagonals like this but i am um, yeah kind of need to get it working but then on top of that we've got this is it seven by seven ish area yeah seven by seven we're gonna have a seven by seven roof attached to the three by however long roofs the stretch of wall is so, yeah, something more in line with what we've got might be better. I'm going to have to play around with it, as I said. Um, yeah, this is this is what we've got so far. So I'm just playing around with changing a little bit on it here, just to give me an option as to where to get some lighting. Um, aside from just burying it in the wall as I was going to anyway. Uh, so it is completely hollow in the middle because resources. You know, it is a survival series, so really, really table. Um, so I am limited as to what I do have. I do have a lot of stone, but not so many binds. I suppose I can always take them off here if I run out. That is an option. Um, I decided to stop here as well, partly because it's not the most interesting thing to watch me build on repeat. It, it's the same bit over and over. I mean, yes, it'll change with the angles and the diagonals and things, which is going to be a challenge in itself. Um, which is why it may be better to do it on a stream because yeah stream reasons that's why you do, that's why you do monotonous stuff right on a stream um but there's a there's a lot of wall to do it's probably gonna take a good deal longer than cliffs did and really and it's going to be, because this area is the farming bit for like the bakery and whatnot. So all this is going to be farmland. We've got the mill to go up here, the lighthouse over here. Um, I might have to pull it out a little bit more because I've got quite a few things to fit in. I've got residential to fit in. Um. Although for like the, the smith shops and things, it can be above. So like the house for that's all above. It can be the same for certain things. Um, but then there's going to be like a bank, maybe. Um, I don't know. I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll have to look at that as we're doing it. It's just going to mean that maybe what I could do is residential kind of like against the docks because there's going to be docks over here down there there's like a prop docks for this bit uh, but also so like because the fishing village over there only has its private dock it's also going to be like a main docks for going out into the 
the rest of the kingdom over that way. But, but I think that might actually work quite well. We're going to have a big kind of in tavern thing in the middle here. We've got the manor house up there, bakery somewhere, tailor somewhere, possible bank like place somewhere. Yeah, we, we've got quite a bit still to get going here. I think planning out areas might be a good idea. I tried to avoid it with this place because it seems to limit me to, I seem to limit myself to the size of what I've done. Um, But this is bigger space than I've used in the other areas. So I've got a bit more to play with. And obviously... This is kind of the scale we're looking at here as opposed to what we've got over there. You know, they're considerably larger. Mostly on the roof side of things. But they aren't small. So I think that is going to call it for today's episode, guys. Uh, as I said, it's a bit shorter one than they have been. Um, oh, we're on 116 now. So we've got Things like basalt, we've got the netherite tools, uh, I've got my leaf eater, and it gives more options. Now I've got chains and things as well, which, you know, it's, it's going to help out a lot. We've got a lot more we can do with things. So I'm excited. I can't wait to get in using those blocks. It means that things could be even more detailed than I've been trying to do them as they are. But as always, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Ciao for now. Bye-bye.